In this simply answered video, I want to answer the question, how do I not get emotional when I'm speaking? I think this um, happens to a lot of people, right? Uh, they tear up and they cry while they talk. As a coach working with lots of people, I see this in my clients all the time. And I think the biggest contributor to this is people don't really have a way to let the emotions inside of them out. And a lot of the times, talking about your emotions and talking about how you feel is such an accessible way to letting it out. But we have so little opportunities to do that, right? You have to work with a coach or a therapist to really sit down and reflect on your life. And when you do, of course, at that time, like the you know floodgates are opened up and then emotions just pour out of your tears. But I think there's nothing necessarily wrong with crying. It's a, it's a, it's the same as smiling. It's an expression of an emotion, right? But I can definitely see how it can be inconvenient. One tip I have related to this is actually um, facilitating the emotional outburst, right? So this is a methodology that kind of expedites the emotional processing state, but. When you really crunch down and you really contract all the muscles, especially, um, you know, like, you know, your bigger group, some muscles in your legs and your arms, and then let go, it sort of mimics the body's um, response to stress and it being relieved. So as you feel yourself getting emotional, commit to just squeezing everything out and then really squeezing it out and then release it and then carry on. Just have that knowledge inside of your head and know that you're equipped to deal with this.